Here are some helpful tips for the prospecting sales call. Salespeople are considered to be an intrusion, nuisance, inconvenience, and a time waster by most people. Know it and plan to work around it. Smile, have a positive attitude and be upbeat. Observe the environment and the business operation. Read those that you are speaking with by observing their facial gestures, body language, and tone of voice. Be prepared for any extreme from positive to negative. Mental and emotional preparation, mindset, is crucial. Know what your objective is, i.e. an appointment, gathering information, qualifying the prospect, finding out how decisions are made. Have a plan to achieve a successful outcome. Anticipate indifference, skepticism, objections, and even hostility. Know the degree of difficulty for your industry, how much persuasion or influence will be required, which ranges from path of least resistance to testing for open-mindedness to hardcore convincing. Lead the call by knowing what questions you should ask or that you want to ask. Know how long, the time frame, the call should be. Know what the next step will be. Is it safe to move to the next step now or should you wait? Understand the significance of your timing and how it impacts the outcome. What will the result be if we prospect effectively? Effective prospecting will help you generate more sales revenue, be more in control of your sales results, or make them more predictable, give you greater enjoyment of the profession. Prospecting will be fun. You'll be able to achieve sales goals and objectives. You can expect to fulfill your sales revenue commitments, and you will build a solid sales territory and account base. How can you plan your prospecting activities in advance to achieve greater results? Plan your prospecting activities in advance to allow time for scheduling and planning of activities. Have a specific time you do this every week, then it becomes a habit to have a strategizing session. Review your travel and appointment plans and then look for opportunities to do prospecting calls in between. In recapping the new business generation course, in what ways would you say you can significantly improve your effectiveness in uncovering and creating business opportunities? Here are some suggested areas for ongoing self-improvement. Expect it to be challenging. Qualify opportunities. Determine the degree of difficulty for your industry and each opportunity. Keep clean, complete prospecting records. Update prospect files and data on a regular, consistent basis. Maintain consistent prospecting activities to ensure an incoming stream of new business. Regularly add a minimum number of new business prospects to the CRM database over a given time period. Use various sources for prospecting. Example, electronic, and paper-based directories, events, newspapers, trade publications, associations, social sites, chambers of commerce, etc. Have an adequate mix of prospects, type, size, location, etc. Use a system for prospect management. As part of our learning objectives in this e-learning module, we discovered tips, techniques, and ideas to help you be aware of the pitfalls that many sales professionals face while maintaining focus on uncovering business opportunities and be better armed to deal with personal feelings and emotions regarding prospecting. Identify the responsibilities of a sales professional when prospecting and know what qualities will help you stay motivated by gaining advantage from the information presented. Have a plan and the necessary tools for achieving a higher degree of success on prospecting calls. Develop a strategy for asking better value-based questions and gathering quality information regarding the client and any pertinent facts associated with them. 
Now that you have completed the e-learning module, it is time for the final exam. Each question has a 90 second time limit and the exam has a 25 minute time limit. You cannot pause the exam once you begin. The exam includes many types of questions including true or false, drag and drop, multiple answers, etc. Read the questions carefully and make sure you understand what is being asked before submitting your response. Many of the questions or variations of them have been asked in the quizzes from this module. You will have one chance to respond to each question and you will be graded. Correct answers will be provided for questions that are responded to incorrectly. After successful completion, you will receive a certificate of completion. This concludes step number 10 of the learning path. Please click on the green next button with the white arrow in order to advance when you are ready to proceed.